Good afternoon. I'm standing in the back parking lot of our shul next to a magnificent peach tree with peaches that are almost ready to be harvested. The name the Torah gives for Shavuot is Yom HaBikurim, the holiday of the first fruits, when Jewish pilgrims would bring their first fruits to Jerusalem to present to the Kohen in the Beit HaMikdash. I found it interesting that the year I studied in Israel in 1997, there were two different communities that celebrated Shavuot in drastically different ways. There was the secular and kibbutz community who celebrated the agricultural aspect of the holiday with 4-H parades and greenery and the bounty that was served. And there was a more traditional and orthodox community that celebrated Matan Torah Tenu, the giving and the receiving of the Torah. Each of those causes alone would be enough to celebrate, and it's a good thing to keep in mind that in Shavuot we celebrate both the harvest and the Torah. One other tension that appears in Shavuot is the fact that we are commemorating two events at Har Sinai, Mount Sinai. One is the giving and the receiving of the Torah. The two is the divine encounter with God. And the question is, where do we encounter God? For many people, we encounter God with community and in our beautiful sanctuary. Our goal for this year should be to have a private, quiet encounter with God through our study of Torah. So tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night, we'll take some time with our books to delve into some study, some new subjects, some old familiar subjects, to think about who we are, to think about the meaning of life, to think about our connection to Torah. And through those ways, we should all be blessed with a beautiful Shavuot and a beautiful Shabbos. Take care.